a little windy out here today. Let's get it together a little bit. Uh, oh, wind or not, got a, got a new incense. I told you I was going to get a new incense here, believe it. It's called Big Daddy. <laughs> um, my, uh, my second son's great grandmother used to call me Big Papa. Why? Actually, I do know why back in the day. I just, I know exactly why. He was a character. Oh, come on now. Okay. Light is not going to cooperate with me. Okay. Don't cooperate. You can be replaced. That's the whole thing, you know. People don't realize people can be replaced, you know. So I hadn't realized it. See, I have this weird thing with, with, with colds, you know. I might have a cold for like a two, like a day, not well, like a day, not realize it. Then the second day I realize it. But by that time, I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm, then I start fighting it. Oh, you don't want to, cold and one, not be in a battle with me. I, I, that flu, I said cold. <laughs> when I first came to South Africa, it was very funny. Because they they call colds flus, you know, I have a flu, and then their their cure is to take uh, uh what is that stony, stony, you know, the Coca Cola is called stony, it's like a ginger beer, and put uh basically basically aspirin with it, and uh, and that seems to everybody does that. This seems to I guess it seems to work. Okay, so I think this is going to go. This is going to hit. Big Daddy, red. Big Daddy. Big Daddy. It's clear the air. With Big Daddy. Yeah, the wind's blowing that way. Okay. I really thought that something was in my throat. Anyway, so last night, what I did was, uh, I said, oh, no, this is a little bit my throat, whatever have you. I got some peroxide, you know, some peroxide, you know, you put like, a third of peroxide, two thirds of water, but just very little bit, and gargle with it. I gargle with that, man. Sure, I know all kinds of remedies. But most of the most of the remedies I know, I know I forgot. I don't even use anymore. I shouldn't say that. Use it. I got an important thing to do today. Oof! Before we get that, oh yeah, we got to do the. We got. Where's my thing at? We gotta tell you all that was going on in my uh, my walking and stuff like that. First of all, let me say, oh, it was a glorious walk this morning. Take off the thing. See, I'm right away. I'm taking off the, the, the airplane mode. Yeah, there we go. Well, first thing I should tell you that I did, before I get to the walking thing, there's this thing. Let me see if they hit it down. That, you know, Tears for Fear, like I'll, I'll download stuff from the thing. So Tears for Fear is the, the, there's a 10-minute um, uh, basically a 10 minute version of uh, uh, Everybody Wants to Rule the World. I love to walk with that, right? But sometimes I put it on there and then it, it puts it in there, it'd be a while and then it deletes. So I guess there's some sort of program that it don't let you do it. So I want, for some reason, I, I said, I got to have tears for walk this morning. I got to have tears for fear. That wasn't the first one I played, though. Um, so anyway, but the first thing I played when I woke up, when I woke up, yeah, when I, no, no not when I woke up, when I was, about to start. Where's my thing at? Oh, yeah, this way. Oh, yeah, the first thing I played was uh, it's beautiful. Uh, Rihanna, uh, Lift Me Up from the, um, you know, Black Panther, oh, uh, Wakanda Forever. So, Lift Me Up. I don't like the way my head is feeling, man. Put my head on hood on. Sorry about that. I gotta have my hood on. Hoodie. Uh, it's so beautiful. Because, you know, I sit to the end credits, you know, and so that's an end song before they get to whatever it is. But I go, I like the score. I got to, you know, I paid my money. The 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 the, the score person, you know, the orchestration, whatever, the, the guy that made, did the thing, da, 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 da. I, <laughs> I want to hear everything. I want my money's worth. And I want that, I want all the filmmakers, everybody in the film to realize that I appreciate everything they did. So I'm going to sit there and wait for the union bud to come up. That's the kind of guy I am. <laughs> Anyway, but Rihanna has, it's a beautiful song called Lift Me Up. 
So I played that this morning, even before, and when I started to get dressed, I, I, I played that this morning. I really like it a lot. But then I went and started my Nina Simone. Which Nina, which Nina Simone? Oh, 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 oh. I guess I was in some kind of mood because I played Nina's uh, Pirate Jenny, which is like, well, let me put it the way. Pirate Jenny is my kind of woman. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know Nina some more Pirate Jenny, then go get it. You'll see what's happening, right? And then I went from there again to I went to Marvin. Uh went to Marvin and did uh Piece of Clay. Right? Then I went to, you know, Love Woke You Up this morning, Valerie Simpson, because that's that's just my usual thing. And then what did I do that next? I think what I did. But then I must have did Liquid Spirit, uh, Gravy Pour Liquid Spirit. Uh, oh, Liquid Spirit. Then I went to uh, uh, Matika and Prince, you know, Love, uh, Love That Will Be Done. But then I wanted to treat myself. <laughs> so so I went uh, back to, uh, not back to, uh, did I do it in this order? Let me think. Yeah, I did it in this order because I know what I wanted to do with, uh, with uh, Tears for Fear. I went uh, and did Marvin Gaye, I want you, you know, because I had, there's this walking park, there's this little park that they made, a little walking path, you know, it was, it, it's one of those, okay, like, you know, they don't like to get, well, they try to make it a ghetto thing because, you know, the guys be there, they be doing their leafy, to do the thing with the blunts and whatever, whatever they do like that. And for some reason, this garbage cans all over, for some reason, these cats, I'm going to say cats, they just refuse to put the refuge in the can, right? I don't know what the deal is. Well, I do know what the deal is, but I won't get into it right now. Anyways, but on the path, right, for the longest, for almost a month, it was just, you know, because the leaves is fall, was, I guess it's really fall now, hey, weather set in. They had that, they had all kinds of, on the path, you know, sometimes I walk, because I start very early in the, in the morning, and you really can't see the path. I'll be walking on the leaves, whatever it is like that. So anyway, yes, sometime, yesterday, something like that, in the afternoon, something like that. Anyway, they cleared the path. So now I can see, oh, okay, so somebody's paid attention. They they cleaned up they cleaned up the, some of the park, but not where the where the there's some benches under these two sheds. And uh they didn't pay no attention to that because they figured, well if these guys gonna, you know, keep on making you know, making little, we don't care. You know. Well, I guess, you know, it well, I, I gotta go I'll be going away, but when I come back and I come back in July then I'll have a talk with the boys. I said, fellas, come on. Now, let's think about this. See what they say. Because they, they see, they, they, well, I know the fellas. Uh, so I did that. Uh, but that's not what we're talking about. We're trying to get how many steps I walked this morning. Okay, here it is. Yeah. 17,360 steps. That sounds like really good numbers, right? Uh, so, uh, uh, 7, 14... 15, 16, 17, eight, I'm sorry. That would be 11.63 kilometers. Okay, let's see what 11.63 kilometers is. Wake up and I put that 11.63 kilometers as miles. That's me. Just give me the... What? Come on, fellas, come on. 10.63. What? Come on. Okay, here it is. Damn, give me the other one. 10.63 uh, uh, equals, whoa, they got a lot of numbers there. I'll do the little small one. 7.227 miles. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. All right, that's complete. But the, it's real, the, the, real, the real decimal is 7.2265. Four six nine six five seven two miles. That uh, so that's what I did this morning, right? Uh oh, it's gonna be a lot. I hope they don't. Oh, my sister just got back. I hope they don't interrupt me while I'm trying to do my, you know, because you know what we're doing right. Oh, plus I, like I said, I was fighting this cold, right? And last night I got up and then I had a had some tea. Forgot what I had, but this time I got this tea here. I'm doing this tea right now. Uh, two two tea bags. I usually don't do tea unless I actually am getting cold. I'm not really a tea person. I'm a hot chocolate person. Can I tell you? Uh, this thing seems a little skewed here. Let me boot this a little bit. Yeah, it's better. So this is the CBD turmeric 
and ginger tea with echin of course it's not cold with echinacea plus promotes immune function this doesn't work promotes immune what does that mean original with spearmint and I put some I put uh, what do you call that I put um lemon in there man I said no yo because I'm really not a tea person I'm not a coffee person or a tea person but it says too steep for what 10 to 15 minutes I think I've been steeping already this has been steeping already so let me take this out because I got it there's something important I got to do today this is important important let me move this over here put this up here have my tea uh, okay that's it yeah two tea bags hey I'm sick but I got, I got to really medicate myself. Oh, not bad. Hey, I like it. Mm. Hey, did my light go up? What's going on with this? I just bought this incense. This incense better be good. How did it go out? Hey, get back over here. Incense. What's this incense doing? The old incense is working better than this sucker. This may be old, man. They must have got this from someplace strange, too. Before I know. This is all ritual, you know what I'm saying? You can't have a good ritual without... They say candles. I don't think candles is a good thing for rituals. Nah. Incense is rituals. Candles. I know people have candles. I'm really not... I know all the religions got candles and stuff like that, but... I don't know. I'm not really into it. I'm not really into the candle, then. You know, who knows? It might be all kinds of... Pollutants. <laughs> For all I know, candles. Okay. This seems to be hitting again. And don't. I'll be in the middle of stuff, so don't you. Let me turn this upside down because I don't know what's going on with this. Maybe this is a defect of uh, incense. I know where I got it from. I got it from one of these, these stores in Virginia now that sell it herb. You know, they sell the flowers, the buds, and the candies or whatever. Happened. And I'm going to tell him, if the thing go out again, I'm going to say, hey, man, this inferior product. Come on. Boom, 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 boom. I'll complain. That's right. You got to complain. Otherwise, nothing will happen. Hmm. Okay. I think Jenkins is going well now. Okay. Almost ready to start. Almost ready to start. Almost ready to start. Ah. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I know. You all you shouldn't be impatient. You know, this is like, you know, the making of. This is the making of a, a, a Instagram post. And so these things might take hours. Not always they don't take hours. Like them. Ah, uh, don't hard about Okay, here we go. Let's get this thing rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep this. Doggies rolling along. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Oh, no. Okay, good. They're going in the other way. That's good. We won't be interrupted like that. Well, I'm going to swig because, you know, I'm sick. I got... <laughs> See? My f I feel fine, though. I have a little scratchiness right there. I can feel something there. But other than that, I'm fine. Let me make sure. Because I noticed yesterday, that's the other thing yesterday I know, because I listened to these things back. No, not to be vain like that, but I listen to these things back um, for a simple thing. See, I'm trained in radio, and what you have, you, you have your air checks, and you actually should listen to your air check when you finish your program, because what you what, what you're really doing is your is your finding is your um how you say what you're really doing is your your unconsciously you're, you're you're making corrections of of things that you may or may not have done wrong. You see, okay. So yesterday I realized that. Hey, man, I can hear myself sniffling. I didn't realize that when I was talking. Like now, I don't realize that. But whatever. Okay. Okay, we're ready. I'm, I'm, I'm serious. We're ready. Do, do, do. Yeah. Do. Took that barge, lit that bell. Do, do, do. Um, dim, dim, dim. Sound like a uh, name of, uh, uh, you know, Superman. You know, uh, you know, Superman last century, you know. Oh, hey, hey, Instagram, it's me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to the bed. Oh, hey, look, hey, this is, I got an important thing today. I made, I was up, well, I made notes. 
That's rare. If I make notes, that means something happening. You know, something happened. I should have my. No, I don't need my glasses. Do I? I can't leave. Right. Okay. Anyway, I made notes. I woke up in the middle of the night. I made. I made notes. You know. I, I carry. I carry notebooks. You know. I have notebooks. This is a third notebook I have. Oh, this is the one that has the Acolytes of Liberation. This is my. This is my group that I'm promoting right now. Acolytes of Liberation. And that's with. Uh, don't worry about that part. Okay. So I was, um, how do you say it, uh, um, 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 I was sketching out certain things. I sketch things out because, like, as a playwright, what we do is what I did as a playwright. I, I sort of had to flesh things out, and then I, I layer on it, you know, stuff, to, to, and until I let the, the characters speak for themselves, and the characters just carry the play. Don't worry about it. It's technical thing. Okay. So I started this thing. Let's say... You start if you start from the motherland, right? We had the, the 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 battles and the fights and the skirmishes, you know, with between the between the tribes and between whatever you want to call it, nation tribes or whatever it is, right? Like that. Mm -hmm. Then 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 that 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 sort of shaped the, the the slave trade, you know, because some tribes they say, hey, I don't know this guy, you know, so sell it to this white guy, you know what I mean? Sell it to these these guys because it's not your tribe, so you don't care. And so those white guys be taking your your cousin. Well, I guess it wasn't even cousins, but distant relatives away you don't even know why you don't care because they were your enemies when you was fighting them anyway doesn't matter but then from the slave trade but now uh, uh, you had uh, then you had chattel slavery let's just start with chattel slavery right I'm not starting with chattel slavery there's way before chattel slavery just, just don't worry about that part. so chattel slavery right now in chattel slavery because you had slavery you had people that didn't want to you know they, they would cooperate with the with the forces that be you know what I mean so we have if it, you have what I call betrayers, you know, because people want to get out of child slavery. And so they would, you know, they would, you know, plot and plan. But then you had in the group, you know, you always had some, 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 uh, 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 is we sick boss <laughs> kind of people, right? Okay. But out of that group, you can call these people cowards. Let's keep cowards, right? Then let me skip a little bit. This is a void period. Then, 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 uh, uh, this avoid people. You, people also, you be swaying other ways. You know what I mean? Like, you have people trying to get privilege or whatever it is. So they scratch you out and all that sort of stuff, right? Okay. Then let's let's right up. Then you have the antebellum period and all that sort of stuff. Then right about the beginning of the century, then you have the academics come in. Where you know you, you have these um, Negroes being um, how you say educated. So you have what uh, I guess the boys call them the talented tenth. I mean that that's sort of misnomer. I, I'm I'm not going to get into the whole thing about that. But it was the educated black people. When you had those educated black people, that's when the boule started. Now that's where our real problem started because up until the boule, you were pretty doing uh, pretty well, right? Then. And of course, the boule also have, and, and the boule they would really cozy up to white people because that's where the power was, you know, what, uh, what they perceived was, right? And so that, and that's when you have the the, what's that? The rise of oh, that's the rise of the boule, right? Uh, white also white infiltration because like NAACP, you know what I mean? They start out with white people in it. Ta da! <laughs> so where were you going when you was trying to never mind. So, okay, and then and that's also, the, when I say the rise of Boulay, that's, that's, that's what we call the, the integrationists. Again, that's under my cowards thing. Boulay, integrationists, the cowards. I, I'm just saying, right? You don't have to believe me. Then you had, uh, then you had white, then, then, then we started to, hey, wait a second, you had white, then you had the people doing what, what White demonization, or white people demonizing black people, and that's when you had the the, the, the well, not just demonizing, but further slavery back with the chain gangs or whatever happened. Then you have you know, the, let's say the jazz period, for instance. You know what I mean? White demonization would be like they they say, oh, that jazz music make you go crazy, take out women, whatever it is, and and then so they demonize that stuff and that whole lifestyle. That's when you had the real problems. This is this is around about the time that J. Edgar Hoover and them, and then then J. and then you know prohibition, all that stuff. Then when prohibition ended, then you had that guy that killed uh, uh, Billy Holiday, you know, that uh, whatever Anslinger, that 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 guy, you know what I mean? It only takes one guy, J. Edgar Hoover, who was by the way black and homosexual, so he he's, he's a self-hating homosexual black person. What can I say, man? It's history, right? <laughs> it's always the people that your people be stabbing you in the back, right? Anyway, well, our people, 
you know, I know nobody wanted to claim, claim Jake uh, Jay Edgar. Not even the people around, they were going to claim that, that we, what he really was. He let us spook around the ears. And everybody know that, right? Okay, that's the point. Uh, so then, so, then that Anslinger guy came around, total stone cold racist. Now remember, all that time, even before Anslinger, when you had, uh, when you had, uh, what, what, what's, what's the guy that, that was uh, the head of Princeton, uh, Woodrow Wilson, that, that president, the one that got that, the, that uh, uh, Birth of a Nation played in the White House, you know, talk about Birth of a Nation with T.W. Griffin, Birth of a Nation. Well, and he's the one that segregated the thing. Everything was going on fine. So you have these, all of a sudden, you, the, the most racist people appear and they get into positions that mess everything up. Well, that's if you want to be educational. Yeah, my, my thing is like, all this thing needed to happen because this system needs to be crushed. And the only way you can crush it is when people come to their limits, where we're coming to right now. Okay, back to the point. Uh, uh, so, uh, so, so then you have, you have your reactionaries, you have your revolutionary, and you have your separatists. That's like right after the answer of them. That's in the, say, say the 60s, right? Uh, right before no about the same time right about the same time that's that's when you had your your, your Marcus Garvey's coming along your uh, what, what you, what you, what's that uh, lay down your bucket whatever guy uh, you know lay down the bucket guy <laughs> you know those people right and then you you white mobs that's when when, when the when you had the uh, uh, the clan right there here's what they call the clan the same thing I call some people today the clan of white supremacists that use religion, talk about Christianity to do to do their thing. Just like a lot of other, a lot of people, like the, the Irish when they first came, right? And they, they were cool until they say, "Hey, we need we need to get some jobs. Let's get rid of these black people. We got all the skills or whatever happening." But the church, you know, now, especially in Philadelphia, these books are written on this stuff, right? Down in Philadelphia, you know, I mean, the Catholic dias dias dia those people, the church was helping was helping the whole bad situation, right? So there's a lot of white supremacists that hide behind religion or hide behind like, oh, you know, we we about brotherhood and, you know, or our poor suffering too or whatever. Hey, there's still white supremacists. If they do a white, if you do a white supremacist thing, you could call, you can claim any religion you want. You're still a white supremacist. Plus you're white anyway. Okay, that's the point. Sorry. Uh, uh, then you had, uh, what's this? Uh, what's this? Integration is informed by Boulay. White friends. Oh yeah, then you had white friends. These two, these these are the worst ones. I mean, I'm gonna say that. Then of course, uh, oh yeah, the, the, that's the southern the, the southern uh, Christian leadership conference people. You know, the, the church people, right? They, they were doing that thing and wanted to be integrated into the society. Oh, we all one. We're together. Oh, kumbaya, but that kind of thing, right? And you know, trying to get into into, into this into the system, right? But at the same time, that was happening. You had the Black Power movement. Ta da! See, I come for the black power, but kind of strange. I mean, I mean, you know, I'm just saying, right? You know what I mean? That whole thing, the dogs biting you and then being beat up. Ah, oh, we weren't having that. But right? we were listening to like, you know, to Lorraine Hansberry and Malcolm X and the James Ball. We weren't listening to like those other cats down there, right? Uh, anyway, and now at the same time, then you had the boulets shifting. Then you have these people trying to be real slick. So, which brings us up today, where we have. I love this term. I don't know who made it up, but it's really good. The Negro Peans. Negro Peans. You know them when you see them. Now, Negroes, those, those, those are Negro Peans versus what, what I call informal warriors. Okay, Negro Peans versus informal warriors, or, you know, whatever. You know? I won't give you no names for it for, because I don't want to slander anybody. It's not slander if it's true, is it? Right, anyway, so so you have the Negro peers, right? So that's what you have now. A lot of Negro peers come from that boule class, right? They're also academics. The worst. <laughs> you you would feel like you use your academic and your academia, but don't not all of them. I mean, there's some really great academics. Some, a few, I should say. <laughs> Few, but a lot of these people out here, they get their little degrees and they write up there under, oh, you know, sniffing under the skirts and, 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 and you know, you know, whatever. Well, so that's what we that's what we are today because, see, the Negro peers, they're there. You, this what we call the turnkeys. You know how you, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. says we're in a, we know we're in a, a what do you call it, a jail system. You know, greater confinement, whatever confinement like that. But when you think about it, under the jail, so you have the warden, right? 
they're like the big warden, right? Then you have your warders or your your, your jailers, your prison guards, right? Then you have what, what what do they call them? The trustees. Those are the ones, you know, the trustees. Well, sometimes the trustees try to, but, but you know, they still see those are your, those are your Negro peers, right? So that's it. I just wanted to get to that. I'm saying, so the situation we're in now is the Negro peers, like the trustees and, and the turnkeys, right? Versus. I'm just saying, all right? I'll talk to y'all later. All right. Okay, that's done. I had to get that out, man. It came to me last night. Not in a dream. I'll wake. I'll wake. <laughs> you know, people say, come to me in a dream. Ah, man. <laughs> yeah, dream. Well, I guess it comes to you in a dream. Uh, the state of affairs. The current state of affairs. Uh, let me see. Tracing. Trace. Tracing. T R A C I N. Tracing. The current C U R R state state. Let me put a couple of no, I'll leave that state of affairs. A F F affairs. I put cap. No, I put capital state. No, I put small state. No, no, no. I'm ah. I put capital state. The brother, the brother traces, yeah. The brother so that's it. The brother tracing current, no. The brother tracing the current states of here. No, I'll leave it that way. I want. I should say traces, but no oh, tracing. I'll leave it that way. Okay. Tag people. Nobody want to tag Western Branch. Well, oh, well, oh, who should I tag? How do I should tag? What revolutionaries do I know that, that, that they, I don't know? Let me tag James. Why not? <laughs> James Small. That's um, James Small. I'll do that. I'll just check James. I don't know why. I just feel like it. You know. Uh, Air to series. This is going to be I'm going to do ADOS on this one. Current ADOS strategies. Yeah. Done. Share. Oh, Dean Bowman has some class with some kids. Okay. Put a like on that. Oh, the garbage people are coming here. Philadelphia apologized for decades of medical experiments on... Whoa! Philadelphia apologized for decades of medical mm -hmm. experiments on black people incarcerated in area jails that involve a component of Agent Orange. Oh, please. You know, apologies mean absolutely nothing. Where's a recompense? <laughs> That's what we want to know. Recompense. All right. Got to go. Not that I have to go, but I'm going to leave you for now. I have something else that I had last night. But I'll be wrong. Plus, there's a lot of noise out here because it's garbage day. They got to do what I'm going to have. I'll talk to you later. Bye.